Hi to all, welcome to my second class on the chapter 1 real numbers cluster. In this class I am going to discuss second question of exercise 1.1. The question is show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6 cube plus 1 or 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5 where q is some integer. In the last class you learned about Euclid's division lemma. That is, for any integer a, that can be written in the form b cube plus r. And there is a condition for r that is 0 less than or equal to r less than b. That is, if you are dividing a number 50 by a number 6, what will you get? As yes, 2, 6 are 12 and balance is 3. That means, 50 you can write it as 6 into 2 plus 3. Now any number if you are dividing by 6, what are the possible remainders? Yes, it can be 0, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. It cannot be 6. Now let us look at the question. Here, you have to prove any, you have to show any positive or integer is of the form 6 cube plus 1 or 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5. This any positive or integer, you can take it as a letter. We don't know what, which in, integer it is, so we can take it as A. Then what will be the, A you can take it as the integer. Then what will be the possible value for b? Here in the question it is given in the form of 6 q plus 1. So b here you can take it as 6. And q will be always greater than or equal to 0. So we can write let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 6. Then by Euclid's division algorithm. How can you write it? Yes, you can write a is equal to 6 q plus r for some integer q greater than or equal to 0 and the possible values of r will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Now let us substitute the values for r. When r is equal to 0, how can you write a? A, you can write it as B. Instead of B, you can write it as 6Q plus R is equal to 0. So, which is equal to 6Q? Is 6Q an even number? Of course, it will be an even because 6 is divisible by 2. So, we can write which is even. Now, what about when r is equal to 1? Then, a you can write it as 6q plus 1. Is it even? Because 6q is divisible by 2. But, it is 6q plus 1, which is not divisible by 2. So, you can write, which is not even. If an, a number will be either even, any positive number will be either even or O. This number is not even, so you can write, therefore, it is O. Now, what about when R is equal to 2? What is the value of A? A is equal to 6 cube plus 2. That you can write it as 2 you can take it as common. That is 2 into 3 cube plus 1. Isn't it? So it is a multiple of 2. That means it is divisible by 2. So which is even. Now can you say what, what is the value when r is equal to 3? To try to write yourself. Yes. Then you can write a is equal to 6q 
plus 3. It is not divisible by 2. You can write it as 6 cube plus 3. It is not a multiple of 2. So, you can write which is not even. Therefore, it is odd. Now, what about when r is equal to 4? You can write a is equal to 6q plus 4. Again, you can write 6q plus 4, 2. You can take it as common. That is 3q plus 2. That means it is a multiple of 2. So, you can write which is even. Which is even. Now, what about when r is equal to 5? When r is equal to 5, a you can write it as 6q plus 5. If this we cannot write as a multiple of 2. So, this is not an even number. So, you can write which is not even. Therefore, it is O. Now look here. Here, the odd case, what are the odd cases? Here, when R is equal to 1, it is A, you can write it as 6 cube plus 1, which is not even, therefore it is O. Another odd case is when R is equal to 3, that is 6 cube plus 3. Another one is a is equal to 6 q plus 5. That is when R is equal to 5. Therefore, in the three cases you can see the number is not even. That means which is O. So, we can write the conclusion as any positive O integer is of the form 6 q plus 1 or 6 q plus 3 or 6 q plus 5. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.